<laughs> so has working on the boat 24 hours a day or being on the boat 24 hours a day made you giddy? Oh, yeah. Do you find that you've become more odd than you already are? <laughs> <laughs> Have you found me to be any more odd than I typically Oh, yeah. Am? We're both getting to be uh, <laughs> more goony-like than before, uh, for sure. Uh, that's how you keep things light. Yeah. Uh, in a pandemic, you got to have humor. Yeah, like when you brush your hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, have a good day. We get a lot of questions about what exactly it is that we do to make this lifestyle a reality, to have our Nordhave, live aboard it full time, and do all the fun cruising that we do. And the truth is, we're not retired, we don't have trust funds, and we both still work to make it all happen. Most every day for us is not a fun and exciting boating adventure where we get to go to new ports or explore new places around the Pacific Northwest. The majority of our time on our boat is pretty traditional. We do a lot of work, throw in some boat projects, you know, have dinner together, enjoy some TV before bed, go to bed, and do it all over again the next day. So if you're curious to know what our real Nordhaven life is like, check it out. Good morning, buddy. Don't work too hard today. Our first order of business every day, after hydrating, caffeinating, and saying hi to Wally, of course, is to get this little man out for a pit stop before breakfast. days like today, I like to practice some yoga on the dock to wake up a little more and prepare my body for what lies ahead, which is a full day on the laptop. I asked Sean if he'd like to join me, but of course he kindly declined. Having been a yoga teacher now for the past four years, I really miss the company of others when I roll out my mat and look forward to the day when that can be possible once again. Until then, I'll enjoy a good stretch right here on the dock. Suddenly working from home every day can be challenging, but one thing that helps us stay positive and productive is making sure we get up early, shower, and get ready as if we were going somewhere. And then once we vacuum and start a load of laundry if needed, we're ready to get to work. I left my 13-year career in merchandising and inventory management to become a yoga teacher. I wanted to do more meaningful work outside of a cubicle while also having more time and flexibility to prepare for our trip to Alaska in 2020. With those cruising plans on hold for the moment and my job at a complete standstill, I'm putting my time and skills to good use as a volunteer for the Red Cross, doing remote volunteer screening and interviewing, and I'm absolutely loving it. If you, your kids, or someone you know has time to volunteer for a great cause, all within the comfort of your own home, head over to redcross.org slash volunteer for more information. Hey, I think I see Wally. Do you want to go say hi? Do you, hmm. Are you on a call? No. Do you want to go say hi to Wally? Sure. I know. This work, it's hard. It's hard work, isn't it? Do your stretches. Pretty soon we're gonna have to do our stretches. So as I was kind of drifting off um, on my Zoom call, 
I noticed we have our buddy here on the dock, Mr. Wally. At least that's the name I've given him. Um, a sea lion hanging out on the dock. I kind of want to go check him out and see what he's up to. And it's so weird. At Elliott Bay, we never saw sea lions. We only saw seals. And here, there's just only sea lions. It's pretty cool. There he is. <gasps> I guess at a regular office, some people take breaks and go to the water cooler. The fun thing about being on a boat and working from your boat is you take a break and you, you go see Wally, the sea lion. How'd he get his name Wally? He just looks like a walrus. It's like, I named him Wally. Yeah. I don't know, everything, everything gets a name around here. Recently, somebody emailed us and said hi to the Sully the Selenator. So thank you for that new nickname. Little Sulster. There you are. Use the mouse. There, you're getting it done now. Yeah. There, you want to get on the call too. Hey, Sean, when's our uh, workout hour going to happen? Uh, oh, I did that this morning. No, I don't think you did. Are we going to do an exercise break at some point today? Some stretches? Sure. Since Sean politely ignored my request for a midday fitness break together, I guess I'll do it by myself as usual. With nearly 100% of our work being done on a laptop and requiring sitting for most of the day, I personally find it helpful to have a routine to stretch and move every couple of hours to keep my body and mind happy. As comfortable as Freedom is, she's unfortunately not the most ergonomic office environment. If you also work from a tiny home and have products or ideas to share, we'd love to hear from you. going how's your work day you've been really uh pounding the pavement here all day it's good so what exactly do you do what would you say you do here so i work for a manufacturing company that specializes in plastic injection molding my job uh, specifically is running our equipment division so i'm responsible for a, a team of engineers and machine builders and we design and build factory automation so we build uh, assembly systems to put together parts and make finished devices for our customers. And now for coronavirus, right? Yeah. Testing. Yeah, we do a lot in the medical and healthcare space. And we're currently doing a lot of stuff related to the virus, um, mostly around testing. This isn't a typical work day for me. Most weeks I'm traveling. Uh, I typically travel every week. The company that I work for is located in the Midwest, in, uh, near Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So most weeks I'm traveling between Sunday and Thursday night and then working remotely from the boat on Friday. Ever since the virus, I've been situated here in Seattle working remotely for the last seven weeks or so. Yeah, and it was quite a big change for us because we not only moved onto the boat on March 1st, but then two weeks later we were quarantined together on the boat and it was the most time we've ever spent together in our entire relationship. Almost 18 years. So, and we're together, no. we're fi it's flown by yeah. and we're together. You haven't thrown me into the water or thrown me off the back yet. I, You've been a lucky lady to I have know. me around for the last seven weeks. Captain Awesome. <laughs> Any other questions? Um, yeah. When is your work day going to be over? Probably in about 30 minutes. And do you want to do a workout or do you want to take the scooters and go get groceries? Scooter sounds a lot more fun. Because every day we pick one thing. We're going to go for one reason. We're either going to go for a walk or we're going to go to run an errand. And we haven't run any errands in a long time. But we're running out of fresh food, so that might be a good option. Get on scooters. Mm -hmm. Do you have a mask? 
I do. We can put on our, our new. Right. Okay, well, let's get moving. changed our minds. We thought after a whole day of sitting at our computers, we would skip scootering to the grocery store because we really don't need anything and take a walk, take a nice long walk down by Golden Gardens Beach, which we just love. And it's a nice day. It's a little windy, but it's a beautiful day to get out and stretch the legs. Sully really needed to stretch his legs. You know how kids get when they're cooped up inside. It's amazing how hours can go by when you've just been sitting at your computer. What do you see bud? Wally's not over there, he's over by the dock. Keep it moving, don't even think about sitting down. Don't get any closer than a refrigerator. That's so funny. People in Seattle will get a kick out of this. We were at Fisheries a while back, right when COVID started, and they had a big warning sign right by the register to make sure you're one refrigerator length away from other people. One and that's on, so. one refrigerator turned on its side away from another person. And it's hilarious because I've never thought of measuring distance by using a refrigerator turned on its side. And from a marine store that was even more hilarious but it's stuck with us so now every time we're out we try to envision a refrigerator on its side don't you find that helpful yeah on a daily basis when you're around people don't you usually envision a refrigerator so I mean it helped So that's a normal day aboard Freedom. Not every day is a vacation or doing a fun boat project. Today was just a regular weekday. Much like living on land, a little bit of work, maybe a walk after work, followed by dinner and TV. Time to finish dinner. Thanks so much for spending a normal and not so exciting day with us. Don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell, and give us a thumbs up. We'll see you next time.